good to see you. How are you? I'm here to meet the chef. Oh, well, I haven't seen him check in yet. Oh, it's okay. I'm early. Anyway, we're here to discuss a case. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I do. Oh, I have you heard about the tango contest? I have. You going? I'm not sure. Do you tango? Well, let me put it this way. I have known a lot of men in my time, but not one that could tango. And you know the old saying. Well, it takes two. Well, if it were the Big Apple, I'd kill him. <laughs> you know you would. Uh... I was slim and young and sweet around the time of the Big Apple. Was slim for a while. I guess that goes to be young and sweet. Oh, too. come <laughs> on. I'm late. I'm early. I'm on time. Yes. Well, if you two want to talk, would you like a table? Yes. Sure. Thank you. Would you like something to eat? Oh, I don't, I don't. Do you have any apple pie? Oh, it's better than your mom's. Oh, boy. Maybe some coffee. You got it. Oh, my God. Sir, I have an investigation there. Uh, well, a lot of shoe leather being wasted. Nothing to report yet. Just sort of plotting, you know. No, that's what it takes sometimes, plotting. I guess. You know, you mustn't let Sarah's arrest go to your head. Not all your cases are going to be so big and such immediate successes, you know. Do you remember telling me this yesterday? Yeah, I remember telling you that. Anyway. You should have come up with some profiles on those targets by now. Yeah, I have. And? You get your answers there, you know. Well, so far I have all the male victims are staying at hotels in Port Charles. They're traveling from out of town on business and they're traveling without their wives. Hmm. Any of the hotel rooms breaking into? Not one. Which means either the people in the theft ring had keys to the rooms or they were allowed in by the victims. Mm-hmm. Now, I asked the Port Charles Travelers Aid Society to check out any of the men who fit the profile and let me know. Excellent. You formed any conclusions? Well, any proof, though. Well, it, it doesn't matter. Not at this stage. At least you're going in a direction. What do you think? Headed towards a woman or women. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, right now, an assignation is made. It's a good word, assignation, you know. Yes, it's a good word. Assignation mm -hmm. led to theft, which led to blackmail, which is exactly why none of the victims have reported the robberies. Hmm. That sounds right to me. Now, my memory serves me correctly. You and Captain Mills were investigating the prostitution ring. Any connection there? No. No. It doesn't fit any of the MOs of the women. These women were street women, you know. They were wives of the world. Nobody was into robbery. Well, there was one who was into shoplifting only because she was getting even with the world. Oh, dear. Now then, if your profile of these targets are correct, and I happen to think that they are, then you have made a major step forward in narrowing your investigation, and that is great work. Oh, Ruby, Ruby, we have to tell you something. I've got to feed this hungry detective. Oh, oh, hungry detective? Well, I can hear the news also. What, what news? Well, we got an answer on our adversary, didn't we? Oh, how oh, great! Yes! Yeah. Oh, little darling, well, she's come out of town. Mm. She has to remain anonymous, but Jake set up an appointment to go see her. Yep. Well, we're going to hold a good thought for you. Right, Anna? Right. And I have many good thoughts. Enough to say you want to. <laughs> Don't move or try to speak to you. As soon as you're strong enough, we're leaving. Not yet. Don't you tell me what to do. How dare you play with Camellia's mind? You know how careful we've had to be. For heaven's sakes, leave her alone. The truth has escaped. There's no stopping it now. A pack of lies. Come on, darling. Let me try to help you to your feet and see if we can leave. She is stronger, but she cannot leave just yet. And Janet, please. Please, hush, hush. We're going. Not until I find the rest. Of the, uh, what is the rest? Duke was not my... And my mother and father. Please let me alone. She has to now. All right. You tell her your lies. And I will dispute every single one of them. Abigail, please go on. Your mother, Catherine Mackay, died in childbirth after bearing a stillborn baby. And when this woman... And Angus Mackay and the doctor got to us hours later. They found me with a healthy one-day-old baby girl. And that was you, Camelia. One day old, but... Where did you come from? Yes, why? The day before Catherine died, a young servant girl here in Orleans delivered a healthy baby girl. What does this have to do with me, Abigail? You were that child, Camelia. Are you going to try to tell us that you switched babies? Yes, I did. Why? Your real father gave me money to take that baby, you, away out of his sight forever. Oh, no. And your mother was banished from this area without any publicity at all. 
But why did you run away? The old crone is not without compassion or pity or love for a helpless infant. I left you with a friend at my cottage. When I realized that Catherine and her baby were dead, I switched the babies so that you could have a good home with Angus Mackay and with you two. Are you quite finished? No, no, no. Not until she's told me who my father is. But darling, she can't because it's all a fiction. She hasn't any proof. The proof is in Camilla's hands. Are these symbols of a crest? Is this a family crest? Yes. Your father's. The sword, the fleur-de-lis, the shield, the lion, and they are your crest too. Who is he? Baron Barony. The crest. And Duke. Duke. What is Duke to me? A man. Just a man. and throwing each other around a lot, but i got to go with Rochester, I think. <laughs> well, that's it. I picked them, too. Well, and the uh, judges reached their final decision? Yes. Okay. And we have. Mm -hmm. Winning this absolutely wonderful $300 gift certificate from the Spa Boutique are from Rochester. Lisa and Ron Collier. So excited. Oh, we are. Oh, very excited. I can see everybody agrees with the Would you like to say anything? Well, maybe. Just excited? Yeah, maybe we should just clear something up here. Lisa is my sister. Yeah. And she, oh! <laughs> she came on a business trip with me. Yeah. Listen, why don't we uh, get a hotel, get some rooms, and uh, we'll stay overnight and go to that boutique club. Oh, could we? That yeah. would be great. I'd love it. <laughs> I guess I better call my wife and tell her all about this. I guess you better. <laughs> and I have the feeling that uh, Duke Mabry would allow you to use our house phone here. Oh, okay. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Hold on a hand, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go first now. Okay. 
I appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. Come on, enough business, Adam. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, sit me, darling. Oh, I was not sure, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Adam. 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 Hello,